Now let's look and see if we can calculate some taxes. So let's add a row header here that says taxes in cell uh, B7. And let's uh, rename this to pre-tax, uh, sorry, this one, let's see. Let's add uh, this will be that. And then let's add another row that says pre-tax profit. And let's calculate that pre-tax profit as gross profit minus operating costs minus non-operating costs. And let's use this formatting. So I'm going to control command V, uh, sorry, control command V and then hit T for formats. Okay. And then let's go over to a uh, row header in cell B11 and write out tax rate. And let's just say 25% uh, for the tax rate. And I'm gonna make that blue because that's an input. And let's just set it up so that uh, our net profit line is now correct. So let's make that our pre-tax profit minus taxes, which again, we haven't filled out yet. And since uh, there's nothing in the taxes row, of course, our net profit line looks a lot like our pre-tax profit line. And now we have our 25%. So we're going to, uh, we are going to calculate our taxes by taking that 25% and applying it to our pre-tax profit. So that's fine. Okay, 112.5. Maybe I want to change the formatting of that uh, cell. And then as you know, I'm a huge fan of the efficiency of Excel. I'm going to shift command uh, right arrow and then command R. And I have a problem here. So as you can see, uh, every time that Excel is trying to calculate taxes, it's maintaining that same relative reference of taxes. And so the tax rate doesn't uh, get picked up appropriately. So this is where anchoring cells comes into place. So when you copy and paste a cell containing a formula from one cell to another, as you can see, Excel automatically shifts the cells being referenced in that formula. Sometimes that's what you want, but sometimes it's not what you want. So Excel allows you to anchor cells and anchoring cells that are referenced in a formula tells Excel that even if we copy the formula to another cell, then the cells in that formula that are anchored should not change. So instead of copying and pasting uh, this cell formula, I want to anchor or tell Excel to always maintain the reference to this cell. So if I click into cell C11 and press either F4 or Command T, you'll see that there are two dollar signs that are placed one before the C and one before the 11. You've now anchored cell C11. Press enter and then shift right arrow and command R over. And now you can see that you've actually fixed the reference to the tax rate. So the calculations now work appropriately. So anchoring cells is really, really important.